And not me and Patrick Garrett for the third. And we have some very interesting stories for you today. Tell us more about it, Will. A camper at SLCC4 has been apprehended for having a 30 pound bag of hamster bones. Is that, are we reading it correctly? Hamster bones, yes, that is correct. Wow. Wow. Let's go down to our on field reporters, E.G. Rawson and Addison. Action. We're here at the scene where this camper has got busted with a 30 pound bag of hamster bones. Indeed, E.G. This camper was busted with a 30 pound bag of hamster bones in the back of a Toyota turf sale. More details will be available. Tune in later tonight. Stay tuned. Back to the studio. Welcome back to the studio. We have our expert lawyer here, Andrew Garrett. The first. To tell us about this extremely rare case. So, what can you be charged with? I don't know. Working for Satan, freelancing for Baltimore. I don't care what they got it for. They got it. Wow. So, I did some special research for this one. How many hamsters do you think 30 pound bag of hamster bones is? Just throw a number out your face with your brain. Seven. 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 Seven? Seven. Seven hamsters. Seven. What kind of hamsters you got? The Wabagos? You got them rideable hamsters? Yeah, look out for Will on Sunday morning. Hurry up, Nibbles. We're late for church. <laughs> oh, um, okay. So that is actually 2,000 hamsters. 2,000. Two thousand. Seven hamsters. That's or, like or seven. seven. That's like seven times four. Seven hamsters. Exactly. Yes. Anyway. So now we're going to send it over to the newsroom with Mason. It's hot. Um, all right. Thanks, Mason. We'll be right back after this break. Perfect. Okay. The Triple R restaurant is on the cutting edge of customer service. Just recently, they've installed a convenient customer carry-out window for your convenience. show you how to prepare the hot tui burger. You know the hot tui burger is made of a special blend of many ingredients. One of the major ingredients is bisquick. Most people don't realize that bisquick can go a long way in making a hamburger. But you have to add the special ground beef to the mix and when you get it all together you begin to mix it up and, and you know the hot tui burger would never be the hot tui burger without the special hot tui burger sauce. Hot tui! Exactly. That hot tui burger sauce is an amazing, amazing blend of spices that go a long, long way. And then after you make this up bag, you, you gotta make it into a, a, a meat ball. But the key, the key to the hot tui is the way you patty it out. It's always fresh and always fresh just for you. After you make the patty, it goes right into the oven. Oh, the special sauce, I could never forget that. Thank you. Is there any other ingredients in the special sauce? That is all. That is all. I will put it into the oven. And you know, after I put it into this little oven, in no time at all, before you know it, out will come the hock to eat burger. Now that we've seen a couple of special recipes made and some specials done here at the Triple R restaurant, guys, let's see the finished original product here at the Triple R. Glad that we could be a part of this today. Let's look and see what we got here. Oh yeah. Oh, Lord. this is perfect. Man, right temperature. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Special beautiful. sauce. This, it looks great. Man, it, the hot tui burger. Oh, it's man, couldn't be any better. Here, here at the Triple R restaurant, we do our best to give 
quality products, as you can see in our Triple R Coney Dog and, and in our Hock Tui Burger. Wonderful ingredients, wonderful sauce, all comes together for a great product. And now you know how to make the Triple R Coney Dog and the Hock Tui Burger. We want you to try it at home. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Love you, Dad. You're on. Oh, okay. Um, we have a report on a special missing person. Take it away, Zan. Yes, this man is named Nathan Allen Mack. He's 6'12 and weighs 85 pounds. He has blonde hair and blue eyes. Check behind and in all small trees. There will be a number down below that you can text or call to report this man. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay classy, Soros. Our family restaurant, Rawson, Rawson, and Rawson. Look, the Rawson boys have the Midas touch. Whatever they touch, pure gold. The restaurant business is just an example of that goal. When I'm choosing a restaurant, there are three features I look for. One, you better have a good coupon. You better have a good deal. In these hard economic times, you better have a coupon. The Rawsons offer this. If you buy one, you gonna get one. And if you buy two, you gonna get two. Best deal there is. Two, you better have a good secret sauce. Rawsons, perfect secret sauce. Woo! If you don't have a good secret sauce, don't save a spot for me at your diner, because I ain't coming in, Jack. Rawson's, perfect secret sauce every time. Three, most important, you better have a good patty in technique. Wendy's, don't you come at me with your square patty on your round bun. It don't work. Rawson's, perfect patty, fits the bun every time, guaranteed. Look, take a bite of a Rawson burger. Close your eyes. You think you're eating a Sonic burger. You are thief, you're eating at the Sonic, but you ain't. Open your eyes, you're at Triple R Restaurant, surrounded by fun, love, and the Rawsons. It don't get better than that. Go to Triple R Restaurant in Alamo, Tennessee.